Kurdistan. Spread across the Middle East, the Kurds have long dreamed of an independent homeland. And after the end of World War II, they briefly realized their dream. In 1946, they established the first Kurdish Republic in Mahabad, northwestern Iran. <laughs> Today, Mahabad is a busy city of around 150,000 people. In the 1940s, its population was about 16,000. The Iranian authorities have always treated Kurds in this region harshly. These rare photographs show the Iranian army encamped outside Mahabad at the outset of World War II. This show of force demonstrates how much the Iranians feared the rise of Kurdish nationalism. Hashim Bazaz was born and lived in Mahabad and remembers vividly how the Kurds were harassed by the Iranians. As a Kurdish teenager, Cobra Azimi remembers the difficulties of growing up in Iranian Kurdistan. <laughs> During World War II, protecting oil supplies was crucial in the Allies' fight against the Nazis. In 1941, the British and the Soviets invaded Iran to keep supply routes to the USSR open. The British also feared that oil fields they controlled in Iran could be seized by the Germans. So they replaced the pro-Nazi leader Reza Shah with his compliant young son, Mohammed. And amidst the political upheaval, Iran's Kurds suddenly began to enjoy more political freedom. Komala JK, the so-called Committee for the Revival of Kurdistan, was formed in Mahabad in September 1942. Its aim was to unite Kurds in Iran, Iraq, Syria and Turkey. As a young man living in Mahabad, Hashim was an early Komala member. <laughs> Komala set up secret schools in Mahabad, which for the first time taught in Kurdish. Kobra was the first Kurdish woman to teach there. Kurdi 
In the early 1940s, Shalil Gurdani attended the boys' school in Mahabad. Shalil's parents were active Komala party members, and as a child, he witnessed clandestine gatherings. As Kurds tasted more political freedom, they became openly hostile to government representatives in the town. A crowd destroyed the local police station in May 1943, killing several policemen. In 1945, the Komala Party was dissolved and replaced by the Kurdistan Democratic Party, the KDP, which set itself more realistic goals, self-rule within Iran. Kazi Mohammed, a well-respected local judge, was elected KDP chairman. Hashim was a close family friend. Kazi Mohammed, who I could have said, Protected by the Russians, Kazi Mohammed set up his own administration in Mahabad. Prominent Kurds flocked there from neighboring countries. Among them was Mullah Mustafa Barzani, leader of the powerful Barzani clan from Iraqi Kurdistan. In 1945, after his failed rebellion against the Iraqi government, Barzani had fled with 1,500 fighting men and their families across the Zagros Mountains into Iran. Barzani, but the other day, Malam Safai Kahatna Mahabadi, Mileti Mahabadi, Kurdi Irani, our Baoshi Kido the Baoshi Gift. Barzani Zor Mandu wa Hilak Diarbu, I was a Boma Zor Jaga Asafu Kama, Kurdman Baoshe, where the Ditka, our Parakandabunu Derbadarbun. However, the Barzanis were formidable fighters, and Mullah Mustafa was soon appointed as one of the four generals leading the Mahabad army. <laughs> Four Iraqi Kurdish army deserters who arrived with Barzani helped assemble and train a 13,000 man force. All prepared to die for the Kurdish cause. Lamala Kazi, Hez of Kobowa, Boweka Navi Chagdari, Kurdi Navi Tubinin, Tai Chimala Kazi, Ahmad Dasmal, Hatazur of Ruida Kazi, Kedapeshawaki to Kurban, to Kurban, Kurdavari, Kuetti, Piri Pesina to Anna Margam Rapes Margit Kile, Kawabu Nave Nin Pesberga, the Tegra Alamaka. In December 1945, Azerbaijan, which was also backed by the Soviet Union, celebrated its independence. 
Kazi Mohammed was invited as a guest of honor. Inspired, the Kurds expelled Iranian officials from Mahabad and set about establishing their own republic. Fatima Khan was a family friend of General Barzani. Aged 14 in 1945, she was asked to sew the Kurdistan national flag. <laughs> Fatima's flag was first raised on December 17th, alongside the Mahabad flag, in open defiance of Tehran. Five weeks later, on January 22nd, 1946, Kazi Mohammed declared the Mahabad region an independent Kurdish republic. Kazi <laughs> وأمن أو رجاء وجروجي كي فوق العدة ميجوي يكى لخوشترين خاطراتي جاني شستو شرحو صالي خوم دزانم وهرجيج لبيلي ناقم وهتا استاش دسر أو هستا سورم. But Kurdish jubilation was short-lived. In March 1946, just two months after the republic was declared, the British withdrew from Iran. In April, the Soviets also moved out after being granted the oil concessions they wanted. And soon, without Soviet military protection and economic support, Azerbaijan and the Mahabad Republic were in crisis. They now had to fend for themselves against the Iranian army. Kurdish tribal leaders who'd supported the Mahabad Republic began to desert. Bedro Lashkri, Barzani's bodyguard, was there when it happened. I want to go to the I wish to get my rain boon. I wish to get my rain boon. I'm going 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 to get my rain boon. <laughs> By December 1946, the Iranian army had overrun Azerbaijan and was threatening Mahabad. Kazi Mohammed called Mahabad's leaders to a crisis meeting. <laughs> The Mahabad Republic was on the brink of collapse, and on December 14th, its fate was finally sealed. مرا مستفاقه دیوی مهابادیتر خواهد زیده کن پیشوای 
داوال پیشوای دکه که پیشوا من وقت پیش مرگه یک آمادم دا گلد بم فرمو من دا خدمت دم تا او جگای که زندوین با اما بروین محابت به جهلین بیدرو was present at this historic meeting گوتی از نایم گوتیم او ملتا لسمنی ولی هاتا از بیم دی بین ولا قاضی او فت نکرد اما شی پجی هشتین Qazi Mohammed made one final request that Mullah Mustafa protect Fatima's flag. Mullah Mustafa rejoined his forces outside Mahabab and Kazi surrendered to the Iranians. On December 17th, an Iranian radio station reported that the army had entered the town without opposition. صدری قاضی و سیف قاضیشان که گرد دیان بند با زندانی محباده The three men were tried secretly in January 1947. The defendants were charged with separatism and being Soviet agents. او نامر دانش و خاتی و خلش محباده بدنی او کن تن فریان کرده مأمور بنیو بازار و دوکان و مغازان در گراندیان کاغذی هم پیو امزا کردن که قاضی ده بیو پکوش دیه لا ورودیه همو بیسلا شقامکان بو چوارچرا حتی کچکان بو چوارچرا سرباز و جاندارم در دراوا دکم گریه کتون دایه چی بوها؟ بگیریم هم وقتی پیشوان ادام کرد دوی اوا متوجه بون که دنگ یکی گریان و شیوان لپشتو را پیدا بون اوا براک آور من داوا تماشا من کرد آئله پیشوائی اما که چوی نیزیک بون اوا با کسر یکی یک جار زور اوا تماشا من کرد سه جرازه حالا وسا و لحوان Qazi Mohammed, Sadri, and Saifi Qazi were executed on March 31st, 1947. Aurojesh, Kaladarian Dawash. Wakanda Dawara. Am I sit with the Kri, the Galzalami? A wave of executions followed across Iranian Kurdistan. But there was no question of surrender for Mullah Mustafa. He headed towards the Iraqi border with his fighters and their families. And told them he planned to flee to the Soviet Union. I wish Madame Mustafa go to me, go to and go her kastaki to get and beat him, go to kifno kichobinen, yem merne, go to abi bom merne neten dad yem merne, ho de go to riam na merne ya, chid yem merne da bom merne be, la pinsat kastaki go to bara, la merden be vishin be, ho de ma de diet abi. Some 500 of his bravest fighters accompanied him. 
They were pursued by the Iranian, Iraqi, and Turkish armies, but crossed safely into the USSR on June 17th. It would be 11 years before Mullah Mustafa could return to Iraq. The four Kurdish officers who'd helped set up the Mahabad army went back to Iraqi Kurdistan. There they were arrested and hanged in Suleymaniyah on June 19, 1947. Although the Mahabad Republic lasted less than a year, this extraordinary story continues to be an inspiration for Kurds around the world. Today, the flag designed by Fatma for the Mahabad Republic flies proudly over the Kurdistan region, a region which now seeks to become an independent state in its own right.